This video tip is part of an extensive series created by the Blue Ram Group for www.freshwatertropicalfishtanks.com and www.tropicalfishaquariumvideos.com to help aquarists understand the unique environment of their aquarium. Chloramine is a combined compound created when chlorine gas is bubbled up through ammonia pellets. The resulting liquid does not dissipate. So even if you want to draw water from the tap and store it, it will remain deadly to fish for a very long time. Thankfully, its use is quite limited since it is a much more expensive solution than simply infusing the water with chlorine gas. It is most often used in cities, where the water is either shipped for long distances in pipes before being used, or it must be stored in cisterns for extended periods after it has been treated, but before it is delivered to the home or business for use. Either way, the determining fact is the time the water must be stored before it can be delivered in to the consuming public. Like chlorine, chloramine is not difficult to remove with a commercial preparation, but it will remain for long periods of time and continue to imperil the fish if it is not. Actually, the same products sold to remove chlorine are used to neutralize chloramine as well. It takes at least a double dose of any standard chlorine remover to break the chlorine-ammonia bond. Once that is accomplished, the chlorine is immediately neutralized, just like any other chlorine in more common situations. The biggest difference is the fact that the ammonia component of its formula still remains. Ammonia can be toxic depending on the pH of the water. As such, it can also cause harm to the fish in the aquarium. Although there are products that chemically lock the ammonia up, they are not all that helpful and can actually cause problems with fish if used too much. We do not recommend that they be used when ammonia can be dealt with much more naturally. Depending on the amount of water that is removed and replaced, it can easily occur that the established biological filter will remove it before it has the chance to do any harm. We tend to ignore the minute amount of a freed ammonia and rely on the bacterial activity to eliminate almost immediately any freed ammonia. If you are in the situation where this minimal amount of ammonia could cause problems during a water change, in cases where the biological filter has been damaged by medication or some other way, or in the case of a newly set up aquarium, it's not available. We can only recommend that you minimize all water changes and only replace evaporated water. Wait until the biological filter has had time to establish to the point where it reduces the ammonia without problems before performing standard partial water changes. This video tip is part of our ongoing Blue Ram Group project. As a video becomes available, each will be mounted within the FAQ section of the websites. If we haven't answered your personal question quite yet, you can get your particular aquarium related questions answered for free by our experts by filling out the Ask a Question form at the FreshwaterTropicalFishTanks.com website. If you want to be notified as soon as each new video is made public, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to know each time a new video is added to the Blue Ram channel at http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Blue Ram 86.